Hey guys, um, so we are going to do a little DIY project today and we're going to turn this, our divan bed, with a Juno on it. Juno. <laughs> Juno. With a Juno on it and we're going to turn it into a bed with storage. So um, we've kind of only seen one person do this um, online. Uh, so we thought we'd make a little video and kind of show our divan bed frame hack. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. So, first job we did, we stripped all of the bed, taking the mattress off, headboard off, because we're gonna repurpose this for something and uh, build a custom headboard uh, with some lights and bits and pieces in it. But first things first, here is the, the divan bed. It's obviously this kind of floppy material stuff. Um, we did buy one with drawers at the time and yeah, we've cut this in half before to try and get it up the stairs in our old house. So it's a bit of a wreck. So hopefully we can cut it apart again and strip it all up. And yeah, so we're going to see what's inside. So definitely want to do this. Yeah. Cool. Right. Nice sharp blade. A new blade in. So I've been cutting plasterboard all week. So loads of room to make some storage under here. Have a look. So we've got all this room. Uh, we can put a false bottom in this, and uh, yeah, make lots of storage. So I'm just fixing some timber. Um, just so we've got something when we come to do our cladding. Um, yeah, we'll have something that's A, going to strengthen the, the side of the bed. Um, not that it really needed it, because it only had fabric um, there before, but this will just give it kind of a bit more sturdiness, and we've got something, something to fix our cladding to when we come to it. So, yeah, I thought this would be a good idea. Gives us a nice opening for our storage underneath as well. Um, been a been an idiot and left me extension lead at work. So where we would normally use a skill saw for this, I'm going to cut it by hand. But we're making the what is going to be the base of our storage area. Um, Phoebe just made a very good point. I was about to cut it to full length, and we never would have got it in there because of the supports and the struts and everything. So we're going to do it in two halves. Um, yeah, four bits of this I think, because this is some stuff we had left over when we did some built-in wardrobes. We brought some MDF off of Facebook. Um, so it's a bit tatty, but it's okay. We'll make it work. And uh, yeah, we have a sore arm by the end of all this cutting. So we have now turned on the radio, the most important thing on site. Um, on site, in our bedroom, I mean. Um, I put this MDF in. Um, I had to cut some bits because this piece in the middle was higher. So we've done this. But what I'm not happy with is this gap here. I don't. I don't like this, so I'm going to scribe the MDF around here so it sits flush with the front. Um, so that's our next job. There is going to be a gap at the back, and I mean, we could fill that with some MDF as well, but I think with the baskets and everything we're planning on putting in here, you'll never see that. So that might be an addition later on, and it could be uh, because it's Saturday and I'm being lazy, but I don't think that will matter too much. So the first one is scribed in. You can see the difference here. Um, that to this big gap on this one. So I'm gonna scribe in this one, cut this round so it sits flush, and then we can start thinking about cladding. Yeah, I made a bit of a mess scribing those bits, but they're all in, they're all sat nicely with the front. Um, so we're, we're on to, to phase two of the operation, which is? More wood. Well, yeah, but where are we going? Binky! There's Binky over there being cute but we just have to make a <laughs> have to make a small stop off because I might have said earlier that the radio is the most important part of any build. He lied. I lied. Um, but McDonald's is the most important part of any build. It's true. They served them first. They served them first. Okay. We, were, we were here first. What's going on? Conspiracies. <laughs> Bye, 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, can I take your order, please? Hi, can I get two chicken sandwich meals, please? What's going on, they large? I uh, know, just medium ones, please. Just medium, yeah? Yeah. Be peely, peely. Peely, peely. What have you got? Oh, nothing oh, exciting. Yeah, peely, peely. Peely, peely. Peely, peely. peely. <laughs> Park Lane! Oh, wait, did we not get Winner! We're a winner! We got a winner! What do we get? We got a fruit bag or a McFlurry! Yes. So we're gonna go to B and Q and then come here after. <laughs> yes! Woo! So we've just found a bargain on our laminate flooring. We've got this clearance stuff, we need eight square meters, and there was four packs of this left. And they're down to 12 pounds a pack. So where we thought we were gonna to have to spend loads. It's going to be forty-eight pounds, and we like it. Yes. Do we like it? Love it. We're not just compromising. No, definitely not. Rusty, rusty key wood effect. So happy days. Happy day. This is the table now. Okay, so it's got a quite connected thing. Could you not put two screws in the wood? Yeah, hang it, hang it on there. And this is not a fancy bulb. That's a shade, and then the bulb is a normal bulb that goes inside. Yeah. So what we've saved on uh, laminate flooring, we thought we're going to splash out on the lights. We're in next, and people keep giving me funny looks because I'm in my work trousers. I'm showing just the tiniest bit of flesh there. <laughs> Without look, peely peely. What do you think of this? Peely peely. I'm going to go look at some lights. There's a light of my life. Aww. Who's about to spend all our money <laughs> in next? Cheaper ones. Well, you, you like these ones. Well, no, I just. Coming, I was to, just... coming to a bed near you. We're um, doing the frames, but are eventually going to be our headboard. So we're making two frames exactly the same size. Um, we'll then lay our laminate across these um, in a parquet style, I think is what we're going to do. And then, um, yeah, we should have two exactly the same. And we can put those together. So that's kind of what we're doing at the moment. Got a laminate floor in, and it's all looking good. I'm just hoping we have enough now. So we're just laying the laminate on the frame. Um, using Jay's nail gun. Secure it down. How's it going, Jay? It's going good. Going very good. We decided to not go with the parquet style um, due to the boards not being as long as we thought they might be for the um, size of the, the headboard that we want there. So, yeah. Wish us luck. So, this is it. We're on the second panel. And um, I've got Top Helper with me. He was now nail gun trained. Blast it, Phoebes. Don't do that. Do you know how dangerous that is? You could have shot me. No, I know that you can't because if this isn't pressed against... Don't put your hand on if the... If this isn't pressed against something, it won't fire. Okay. As long as you're sure. I am sure. You're not trying to get rid of me. I've got it on video. <laughs> if I disappear mysteriously, she shot me. We have a headboard. That's going to be the headboard. We've pushed our divan up against it. Tried to keep everything nice and central. What do you reckon so far, Phoebes? Love it. You happy? Yeah. Do you like it? I like it. So now we just need to clad these sides. Um, figure out a way of attaching all of this. Um, see, we've got the skirting board to think about. So I think we're going to put a spacer in the top here to keep it all nice and level. And then what we're going to do is maybe finish these edges with some hessian or um, some of the fabric we actually cut off the divan. So we shall see. But for now, her, lady, her ladyship <laughs> needs a brew. So, we kind of um, forgot that we were filming a video. We did. So, did we've finished cladding the, um, most of it. We've cut these bits out. Two bits left. So we've got two bits to put on. Uh, what we've done is left a bit of a lip, if you can see on the edge there. The, which is gonna kind of retain our mattress. Um, Cause it tends to kind of flop everywhere when we moved into our old house. And, um, bought it we had to take it apart 
um, and rip all the, a lot of the insides out to put it all back together upstairs because it wouldn't fit up the stairs. And getting out of these ones wasn't much better. So we're now, um, yeah, last two to do. Um, it's dark outside now because it's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock, and we uh, went and met the Bear Club guys at Weatherspoons. So that wasn't very productive uh, to do that, but it's coming along nicely. When we got back, we um, finished cladding around these sides, so we're almost there. Um, so close. So close. And we've got some cool lamps that we got from Next to put up, and some shelves at some point. But we'll we'll do those another day. So. It's getting close now. We'll uh, keep you guys updated. Let's take the end of that off. So, I just realized, I was gonna show you guys how we mark out the hole, but don't need to, need to take this little bit off here. <laughs> so, we can do that. Although it's not the right way to do it, I would imagine. Um, but you can do it with a Stanley knife, which is how we've taken the lip off the, the top of the t-shirt tucked in. I don't know how that happened. Um, how we're taking this lip off is just using a nice sharp blade and you can just score along it, follow the line of the of the line it. That hasn't worked. And there we go. Gone. Bang and the lip is gone. So just fit it um, as we're going to, and then with a nice sharp pencil, which I need to do, um, we're just gonna score around the hole from inside. Oh no, I broke it. Oh no. I broke the pencil. Just we could be here a while, we, we should, we should Do you this. know how many scratch there, anyway? As I was saying, you need a nice sharp pencil. Um, and then we're just gonna draw around inside. It's a bit of a pain, because you can't really see what you're doing, but. Um, yeah, we're gonna just draw around where we're gonna be cut, cutting. Oh, I can't get in there. And then hopefully, nice, oh. I don't know what happened here. Um, yeah, a line to follow, so we'll cut that out with the jigsaw. Um, take this lip off, fit it, and yeah, got our opening. So uh, we're all done. These are the finishing touches. Um, these are table lamps, but uh, yeah, got them from next and attach them, and let there be light. Just tidying up to do now, but here it is. It's all done. It is amazing. Happy wife, happy life. Jay's amazing. Well, um, get some good snaps and show you guys in a little while. But yeah, gonna go tidy up now as we've got sawdust and nail guns and saws and dog toys and paperwork. And there's our storage. Lights on both sides. Uh, at some point, we're gonna put Hessian around here. And um, Phoebe's off now for a couple of weeks on Easter break, so. That might be a little job for her, but yeah. Can't believe how it came out. It's amazing. Can't believe that, what, 12 hours ago, this was just a rickety old divan bed frame. And now we have a lovely bed with storage. We're gonna get some baskets for under there. Bed of dreams. Bed of dreams. So we're all finished. The bed is made. Lights are on. We've tidied up. We've got our storage underneath. Really happy with how it's turned out. What do you think, peeps? Amazing. You like it? Yeah. So there we go. Um, how to turn a divan, rickety old fabricy bed frame thing into um, yeah, a really cool wooden bed. Very hotel-like. And uh, yeah, I hope this has inspired a few of you to, to do the same. And if you do, uh, send us some pictures, because we'd love to see.